It smells so good in here too. It's like got the aroma of honey everywhere. All right, I'm done editing the vlog. We can go look at bees. You're mopping my floor? Yeah. Marshall, you're so nice. It's really for my own sake. I'm sick and tired of having stinky feet. <laughs> Can't stand our kitchen, huh? I can't either. It's bad. <laughs> you guys are so awesome. Every time you come to our house, I feel like you guys always do something awesome. Like Hi. Started something, and we have to keep up our reputation. <laughs> Hi, Dad. I'm almost done. So it's a beautiful sunny day. Today's the day we're gonna harvest honey. So we've got Marshall and Molly here, and they're gonna be helping us out. Yeah, Molly, this is the first time you've ever looked at the bees, isn't it? Yeah. That's exciting. Are you nervous? No, not really. Not really nervous? No. Okay. Well, you got nothing to worry about. We got the bee suits on, so you'll be you'll be safe. <laughs> that is so stylish. Pregnant like beekeeper. Pregnant <laughs> <laughs> suit. And Marshall tied it just exactly so it accentuates my belly. <laughs> It's the latest fashion. <laughs> We're starting to harvest. I'm excited, except I'm a little bit worried at the same time, only because we have a newborn and honey is bad for newborns. But then it gets up in the air when you're using the spinner, so I don't know. I'm paranoid. I'm excited to get some honey, because I'm running low. I've been using a lot of honey. Michael's getting an awesome camera set up going so that you guys can see high quality version, the honey harvest. We're gonna start with this hive right here because I'm really optimistic we're gonna get some good honey out of it. Shit. Right. That's easy. There you go. So the smoke does two things. It triggers an instinct in the bees that their hive is on fire and they're gonna have to leave soon. And so they start eating honey and that distracts them from the beekeeper. Also, when the hive is under attack, the bees will send out a pheromone signal to the other hive. The bee is saying, fight, fight but the smoke kind of masks that, so they can't communicate as well. Alrighty. Put some smoke down in between each of these frames. Ooh, this looks good! That's it? Yeah, let's just take a look really quick. This side is almost all capped off, and the bees always work from the inside out, which means that if the outside frames are almost capped off, then the inside frames are almost guaranteed to be ready to go. If there's too much moisture in the honey, too much water in the honey, then it will be a little bit more liquidy and it will spoil if you harvest it too soon. So the way you can tell if it's too liquidy is by going like this. If it doesn't splash honey, do you see anything coming out? Nothing. That means it's thick enough that it's good to harvest. So once we know that this is going to be one we're going to harvest, we brush the bees off. You want to feel how heavy that is? Pretty heavy, huh? Check that out. Completely capped off. And this is some white honey, too. So we took the top boxes off of each one of these three, and that one right there, just consolidating them down to one box each. You can see the bees are on the entrance fanning their wings, signaling to the bees over here to come home. Good job, Marshy. <laughs> Thank you for your help today. You're welcome. <laughs> so I usually get out of my bee suit after coming inside. I don't like the bees all over me. All right, it's harvest time. So this is the uncapping scratcher. It's pretty handy. We take the frame of honey like this. And we take the scratcher and we get it underneath the cells and pull it off like this to uncap it. Just doing a little bit now to show you guys, but it gets really messy. So I'm just gonna go along this. Try not to dig deep. You're only trying to get just barely underneath the caps. Once we've got two frames in the spinner, we can go ahead and start spinning. I'm decapitating the honey. <laughs> All right, Marsh, how's it coming? Good. <laughs> Eating some wax? Yep. We've gone through completely and spun two frames already. So you can see the honey there in the bottom. I'm gonna open up the drain here and watch the honey flow. This is the fun part. So I've got a little mesh strainer right here on a five gallon bucket. So it's gonna strain out all the big chunks, leaving just the pure honey underneath. So you can see the honey draining out the bottom. 
coming out here. Pretty cool. Then we take the caps and we put them here in this strainer. And then we're gonna take the honey out of that and strain it again. Is that pretty cool? That's how we're making honey. Then I've got some clean jars over here. We're gonna see if we can fill up all these jars. Looking pretty good, babe. Yeah? Yeah, I just got done vlogging, so. Did you? Yeah. I'm just vlogging with a nice camera. Yeah. Camera. <laughs> good job, guys. I got Marshall was spinning really, really fast, and I was helping him hold the bucket. Yeah? And he let his hand go, and it was all sticky, and it caught on my hair and pulled some of my hair out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> It'd probably be best to leave some in there, that way it's weighted. I'm gonna leave a little bit, yeah, okay. but it's still pretty full. Woo hoo! <laughs> Look at that honey. Okay. Where's the honey hitting the walls? It smells so good in here too. It's like got the aroma of honey everywhere. Oh, and the stickiness of it everywhere. Look at my hands are so sticky. <laughs> Ew. Let's do this. It's liquid gold, that's what it is. Which six gallons, that's, what's that, four, ten, six, twenty-four quarts. Cool. That's pretty good. We're just starting to fill up the jars. Whoa. Look how gorgeous. They're wanting to see what's going on. Harvesting the honey. Just realized something. I think this is the first time. Ellie, no, 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 don't go over there. This is the sticky floor. This is the first time I just realized that we have kids old enough to kind of think it's interesting and yeah, I grasp what's going on a little bit. Cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, what glorious. Such beautiful honey. There's two bees in here. There's two bees in here. There's one right there. So we got a couple of bee stragglers in here that want to get out. We're going to IHOP. That was the fastest honey harvest that we have ever done. At least for the size and the amount of honey that we got, which was like something. It was a lot. 75 pounds. 75 pounds of honey. But Marshall and Molly were there and they like had cleaned the kitchen before and after and oh, it was so nice. They were a huge help today. Oh, and it was so sweet. Ellie came up to me and started scratching my back, which that, I thought that alone was just so adorable. But then she stopped and she put her head by mine and said, feel good? <laughs> and I was so cute, she said, no. And apparently James filmed a whole episode of the Magic School Bus yesterday without me knowing. <laughs> yeah, you even told them, don't film a long video. Did you hear me say that on the video? Don't film a long video. I he's said like, it. why? And you never answered him, so he's like, I'm gonna do whatever I want, I guess. Oh, man. Anyways, tonight we're going to IHOP for dinner and we're gonna go shopping and I am so glad that the honey harvest is over and done and everybody's clean, we all got showers and stuff so we don't have honey on us if we touch the baby and we don't have to worry about that at all. It's been a good day so far. Well, thank you guys for watching today's video. Sorry it was so late, I've been sick all day today and so I'm just trying to, finally getting around to editing the video from yesterday. It was a really, really fun day and I hope that you guys really loved it. Beekeeping is something that I'm so passionate about and I love it so much and I love to be able to teach other people if they're interested. So let me know if you guys want to know more. Make sure to check out yesterday's video if you missed it. Also subscribe to The Beach House for more videos every single day. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. I'll see you guys tomorrow.